Okay, so for example, let's say that this object, this spiral here, was the thing I wanted to repeat. There's an infinite number of them going down to the beginning of this cusp. So if I could just move one to the center, then the next one, and then the next one, and the next one, and so on. Just keep going. Each one is a little different than the other because what's happening is, is I make my way further and further down. There is more and more depth. It takes longer and longer to calculate. The spiral becomes more and more tightly wound. Now this limited real-time Mandelbrot Fractal Explorer does not actually do enough calculating to see the center of these spirals. So as I work my way down and they become more and more tightly wound, you can see how it's becoming more tightly wound. Unfortunately, the black area that you see in the middle is just an area that has too many iterations for this software to look at and be able to show in real time. So yes, it would be really cool to see an animation showing each one of these just centered and to follow the contour perfectly. So I wrote a piece of software that did something like that years ago but it's actually not a simple problem at all because these things are not following any kind of a straight line and not an extremely predictable pattern of the coordinates of each one. So it would be cool to have a, an algorithm that is looking for the object that you're interested in to be approximately or even better exactly where the previous one was and then go ahead and take the snapshot render the image so that everything is lined up maybe you would choose to line up the center or maybe you would choose to line up the point where the two halves of the spiral meet hard to know as you can see as I work my way to the left they're actually getting smaller and smaller. It goes on infinitely, and it would take an infinite amount of calculation to see the infinitely deep point where it never actually ends. And here I am beyond the ability of this software to even zoom in, but the software is not very powerful.